The ancient Chinese imperial records are full of strange happenings. Two-headed animals, odd things in the sky, even geese flying backwards. To the normal person, just odd details in history books. But to the skilled courtier, these symbolic signs gave hidden warnings, indirectly advising the emperor while protecting the messengers from punishment. For in the complex world of power and politics, being a master at courtly conduct is very important for having influence and authority. Just like those ancient courtiers used their subtle skills to move through the halls of power, so too can modern leaders gain from understanding the delicate game of court politics, where the subtle art of making people do what you want mixes with the complexities of power dynamics. Drawing wisdom from Robert Greene's The 48 Laws of Power, we journey through history to uncover the timeless rules of courtly conduct. As we learn the secrets of indirect influence, raising up the master, and the delicate game of manipulation, we gain valuable insights into the strategies used by master courtiers throughout the ages. 1. The Mastery of Indirection In the complex world of ancient Chinese court politics, Mastering the art of indirect influence was very important, like a puppeteer skillfully controlling marionettes from the shadows. This philosophy, deeply rooted in the wisdom of Machiavelli, warned against the dangers of outright flattery and promoted the subtleties of indirect maneuvering. Courtiers, understanding the divine respect given to the emperor, did not openly criticize his actions, for such boldness would challenge the very fabric of the celestial order. Instead, they created a masterful strategy, using the sacred imperial records to convey their concerns without risking their own safety. Within the carefully kept records of natural events and important happenings, they inserted subtle metaphorical warnings disguised as strange occurrences, two-headed creatures, odd celestial events, and even geese flying backwards. These symbolic gestures were cleverly crafted to show the emperor that his decisions had disrupted the cosmic harmony without directly questioning his authority. By using this ingenious method, courtiers allowed the emperor to see his mistakes independently, protecting themselves from potential punishment while giving invaluable advice. This art of indirection not only safeguarded the messengers but also upheld the intricate dance of power dynamics within the imperial court, where finesse and discretion were revered as true mastery. Thus, within the annals of Chinese history, these records serve not only as documentation of events, but also as evidence of the subtle artistry of courtly persuasion and the mastery of indirect influence. 2. Elevating the Master In the intricate realm of courtly conduct, the skilled manipulation of power dynamics requires finesse and strategic intelligence. Courtiers must hide their true intentions in ambiguity, skillfully avoiding envy and resentment while putting themselves in a good light in the eyes of their ruler. This delicate dance requires careful attention-seeking tactics and the creation of a unique persona, all while delivering only the most flattering news to please the master. One great practitioner of this art was the renowned architect Jules Mansart whose approach perfectly showed the idea of making one's ruler appear superior. Mansart's brilliance lay not only in his technical skill, but in his smart understanding that elevating the ruler's sense of importance was paramount. When tasked with renovations at Versailles, Mansart used a cunning strategy. He deliberately included minor flaws into his plans, particularly in areas outside his expertise, such as gardens, where he knew King Louis XIII would feel more knowledgeable. Presenting these intentionally flawed designs to the king, Mansart expected Louis's keen eye to spot the imperfections. Taking the opportunity, Mansart would defer to the monarch's judgment, praising him highly for his keen insight and brilliance. By positioning himself as a humble student in the presence of such a talented master, Mansart skillfully redirected attention to Louis thereby boosting the monarch's ego and securing his favor. Through this calculated psychological manipulation, Mansart not only stroked the king's ego, but also ensured his own prominence within the court. His obsequious acknowledgement of the king's trivial corrections 
cleverly prioritized courtly conduct over mere architectural skill, solidifying Mansart's position as a master courtier in the complex world of power dynamics. 3. The Delicate Game of Manipulation In the intricate world of courtly conduct, where perception rules supreme and reality is molded to fit the desired story, courtiers walk a delicate path of manipulation, constantly aware of the dangers that lurk in the shadows of envy and resentment. Consider the renowned painter J.M.W. Turner, whose brilliance in art threatened to overshadow his peers. Aware of the potential consequences, Turner exercised self-censorship, temporarily dulling the vibrancy of his masterpiece Cologne to avoid outshining fellow painter Sir Thomas Lawrence. Turner's smart decision was driven by the understanding that obvious displays of talent could incite envy and resentment, jeopardizing his standing among influential peers. This act of political foresight highlights the nuanced dance of courtly conduct, where the mastery of perception is mixed with the art of manipulation. Turner's willingness to suppress his own genius underscores the lengths to which courtiers must go to navigate the treacherous waters of court politics. However, as evidenced by Talleyrand's tumultuous relationship with Napoleon, even the most skilled manipulators are not immune to the perils of their craft. Talleyrand's elaborate deceptions, designed to delight and distract Napoleon, ultimately backfired when they were exposed, revealing the courtier's true intentions and undermining the trust between master and servant. Talleyrand's downfall serves as a warning, illustrating the fine line courtiers must walk between pleasing their master and betraying their trust. In the delicate game of manipulation played within the court, success hinges not only on the ability to control perception, but also on the preservation of trust and loyalty amidst the constant threat of exposure and betrayal. In a world where power dynamics are ever-changing, the skills of the courtier remain timeless. By mastering indirection, elevating their superiors, and skillfully navigating the delicate game of manipulation, the perfect courtier can rise to unmatched heights of influence and authority. Remembering the additional rules of courtly conduct, such as avoiding boasting, appearing calm and relaxed, using flattery carefully, being noticed in a good way, adjusting one's style, and controlling emotions, further enhances one's ability to succeed in the intricate dance of court politics. If you're tuning into this video till now, it shows you're someone who loves seeing things through to the end. That's awesome, because finishing what we start isn't always easy. So, big congrats to you for that, because most people don't finish what they start. Now I've got something important to share. We're currently accepting donations in the form of subscriptions to our channel. It won't cost you a dime, but it will mean the world to us. Your subscription fuels our confidence and motivates us to create even better content that can genuinely help people. So, if you believe in what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button and join our community. Together, we can make a real difference. Thanks for your support.